Remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell if you're new and want to be notified every time I post a new video. Also, if you are interested in any of the best and latest deals on devices, whether that be smartphones, Android boxes, tablets, laptops and PCs, etc. And also some great deals on some of the best VPNs, please check out the video description below. All the information will be left there. Hi guys, it's ASBYT and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, as you well know, if you follow me for a while, I do lots of videos on, on software, tutorials, etc. But I also do a lot of unboxings and reviews of certain bits of hardware. Hardware? <laughs> Sorry. No, I do, I do, do I, I do, do. Stop it. Stop it. Concentrate. Focus. Hardware, whether that be smartphones, Android boxes. Um, I've done some reviews on smartwatches as well. Many different things. But today is a different one for me. Um, I've actually been sent this product by Yi, which is a segment of uh, Xiaomi, which is a massive company in China. And they are stretching that now. They do a lot of products that are very successful globally. Now, again, if you've followed this channel for a while, you will know that I have reviewed quite a lot of Xiaomi products. Some smartphones, like, of course, this Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 which is my daily driver at the moment. It's, I, I love using it with the bezel-less display, etc. You can see my review for that if you want. But also the Xiaomi Mi Box, which I've done a review on another really, really good product. I've not often been let down by a Xiaomi product, to be honest. They really generally step up to the plate when it comes to performance and, of course, pricing. As well as this, they're also sending me the world's first 4K 60 frames a second action camera, and I can't wait to review that but this is actually, it's a 1080p 360 dome camera. As always, everything won't be completely rosy. There will be a couple of negatives, which I'm sure I will find. And again, I will let you know. So yeah, without further ado, let's unbox this Yi dome camera. Okay, so here we have the actual box. And on the front, as you can see at the top, it says Yi dome camera 1080p. On the right hand side, you've got 1080p, 112 wide angle professional grade lens and bi-directional rotation as well, which actually means there is basically no blind spots. Two way audio, 360 auto cruise, motion tracking, night vision, baby crying detection and 360 panoramic snapshot. And it's something that interested me because a lot of guys who have followed me for a while will know that in April this year, I actually had a baby. I well, I, I didn't personally. I, now, that would be something special. Screw the world's first 4K 60 frames a second camera. I'm the first man in the world to give birth to a baby. <laughs> no, of course, my wife gave birth to a baby in April. And this actual device has baby crying detection. So um, I was, of course, interested to see how that would work. Then on the back, you've got basically just even more information. So support platforms, Android and iOS. So that's for the uh, app that comes with it. Wi-Fi there is 2.4 gigahertz. I'd like to see five if possible. So that would be something that I'd look to improve on a future product. However, that might be possibly down to the fact that with five gigahertz, although you will generally get quicker speeds, you will sometimes have problems with penetrating through solid walls, etc. And you will often see a shorter range on it as well. Right, so let's unbox it before I show you the app as well that runs alongside it. So we're just gonna take that off there. And the first thing you get inside is, of course, your manual. And it's quite a thick, substantial manual. So if you've got any problems, uh, you should be able to find it in here. There's many different countries actually in here. And as you can see here, it just gives you sort of a bit of information about getting to know the camera and everything that comes with it. We're now just going to check out what else is in here. So you've got another little section here. So you've got all the sort of social medias on there in case you need any help. Now oh, you can use it as a little placemat there for your mug of tea. That's, of course, what we're looking at at the moment. I have reviewed this actual digital camera already. I will leave that linked uh, on the top right-hand side of this video if you wanted to see that. So that's pretty much it. Now let's get out the actual camera. Got your actual camera here, which looks a little bit like a Dalek from Doctor Who. No? Okay, just me. And then we go into here, and you've got your power plug socket, which looks very much like an Apple plug. So a slight copy with the plug there. You also have your mount and you have some screws to mount it as well. So this is if you wanted to use it as a um, security camera, for example, and you want it to, to be on the ceiling or on the side of the wall. And then of course in here you will also have your cable which is micro usb again i'd like to see type c with every device that ships now because of course that is a better technology than micro usb but again this is more than acceptable and this was probably created a few months before type c was generally a standard for a lot of new products so that's what's inside the box okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the app 
that comes with the actual product, which is called Yi Home. Okay, so once you go there and you install it, and it loads up like this. Now, the first thing, obviously, you need to go through and set your location, whether it's the States, whether it's Europe. So I'm obviously going to click on Europe and I'm going to click on continue. Then you've got to enter an email address and a password. So you go to sign up there. I've already done one, so I'll just log in. OK, so then when you're logged in, it gives you these different things that the app can do. So you've got unlimited storage, encrypted uploading, no fear of device damage. And you've got Yee Cloud puts your mind at rest. So let's get, let's get started. You click on that and it gives you a little rundown of what you need to do. So on here, as you can see, you've got you add your camera at the top there and you can obviously check out your cloud service for your device by clicking on the cloud storage. For example, you can swipe left and right in terms of actually, you know, moving the camera and up and down as well. So we'll just get through all of these different things. You can bookmark the current camera viewing position as well if you want to keep it for, you know, a later date. And you've also got different places where you can see your panoramic uh, pictures that you've taken. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But as you can see here, let's just spin that camera around. So by moving these individual things here, you can, hello, there we are. And you can see me, we're just going to scan up and I am there in all my glory, okay? So obviously the first... <laughs> glory the first thing i've noticed straight away is the picture quality is okay you know it's 1080p but it does suffer quite a bit in low light situations so i am actually filming this off the yaomi uh, mi mix 2 i'm using this actual phone uh, but yeah you can see there so you can just kind of move it around up and down it's really easy to actually move the camera around so if you are using it for cctv for example in your home or in a business it is actually really quite good um you've got a microphone section here so if we were to click on that microphone section there, you will, you'll get quite a lot of feedback because obviously they're right next to each other. Now you can turn the sound off and on there. So it is off at the moment because obviously I'm speaking to you. If you turn it on, you'll be able to hear feedback. So if you've got um, sound coming from a certain room, like if you wanted to use it as a baby monitor, for example, you would just click that on your app and you start getting sound coming through on your phone as you can hear the echo coming through there. Okay. Now what I have noticed is that the sound is quite good. Um, it... In terms of the actual baby crying detection, I've not noticed a massive difference. I've noticed it's slightly louder when my baby makes some noises, for example. But whether it's actually sort of crying detection, I'm not too sure. I need to test it in more detail to see the exact differences. It just seems to me it's slightly louder than it is just normal sound. If you wanted to record, you simply tap that button there and it will start recording what you're actually uh, filming from this actual camera here. So we'll just stop that. And you can then say, as you can see, the video has been saved. You can go through and see it in your gallery. Uh, you can also go, you know, full screen here like this. If you tap that button there, it goes to full screen and you can tap the display. Again, it tells you what to do. So you tap that bit up there and it gives you this sort of function here. And you can then start moving it around on there. So again, it's really easy to use. If you wanted to take a panorama shot. So again, if, if you wanted to for CCTV or anything like that, you wanted to get a quick 360, you'd simply press on that button there and it would then shoot a panorama. Okay, so the one glaring issue I've noticed so far is the actual Wi-Fi connection. It connected very, very easily uh, when you go through and pair it. However, it doesn't pair with 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So if you've got a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi you can pair with, possibly that's something they can change in the future. Whether that has to be a whole new product or whether they can do that via a firmware update, it's possible. They do do regular firmware updates. When I connected the two, uh, it did give me the option of the firmware update and I did that. So possibly they may have a future one. And then, of course, along the bottom, you've got a bookmark section for your bookmark camera positions you've also got this section here which has got cruise route cruise horizontally 360 cruise period all day cruising so you can just have it sort of cruising around all day so you can actually get a good idea again if it's cctv you can have certain rooms covered you can of course using the attachments screw it to the ceiling or the wall like i mentioned and you can then have it sort of shining down over a bar or shining down over a you know a large room a reception room for example if you feel that you want that you know cctv would up if that's a term, CCTV'd up. Yeah. But in here, you've got motion tracking and auto cruise as well. If you wanted to take a snapshot, you can just press that button there and it will just save it again in the view albums. You've got the cloud up the top. So my Yi cloud up there. You've got your dome camera. Uh, I've not subscribed to it, but you can do. 
and you've got like a video upload service and things like that. It's on auto, you can change it to SD or HD. All this time I was actually showing you on SD. If we actually click on that and go to HD, as you can see, the picture is actually uh, quite a bit clearer. So again, me personally, I would like to see the actual uh, auto be set to HD because it's a 1080p dome camera, but it sort of sets itself at SD. So yeah, just something that I would again look to improve in the future devices. I would like to see the standard being the highest and then you don't have to go through because some people might actually buy this and not actually clock that little bit at the bottom there and they might just think that that is the picture quality and obviously that is only in SD. You've of course got the big settings section as well so you can go through camera on and off, um, change the camera name, camera settings like light, image rotation, firmware, etc. You've got pin protection, connectivity, all videos and photos, all of that sort of stuff. So you can actually go through and change quite a bit from uh, just that setting section as well. So in conclusion, I think this camera is absolutely great for a CCTV in, in a, like a bar or a restaurant, uh, you know, and you wanted to attach it to your wall or your ceiling. It's great for home security. If you wanted it in a, like a big room or in a baby room and you wanted to monitor that, use it as a baby monitor. The quality, as you can see there, is pretty good. Um, low light situations isn't as good, but it does have night vision as as well which is another big plus to it downsides there aren't many but the one main thing is that five gigahertz wi-fi if they can change that it would definitely be a product i would re highly recommend um until that date there will be quite a lot of people that have wi-fi of five gigahertz that won't be able to actually pair the camera to their app on the phone it is definitely something that potentially will be addressed in a future product or with a firmware update it would be nice to see and if that happens then i think this is definitely something to consider for all of the things that i mentioned before so that is it guys that was my review of the yi 360 dome camera i will leave links in the video description for where you can get hold of one if you so wish thanks again to xiaomi yi for sending me this this is where you come in now let me know what you think of this individual product whether it's something that you would purchase whether it be for your business or your home security or anything like that as always i'd love to hear your thoughts like and share if you did enjoy the video and find it helpful subscribe and hit that little notification bell if you're new to the channel and want to be notified every time i upload a video and i'll see you in the next one quite like this little fella say bye what are you doing you're talking to a camera i think that's it for today i think i've generally lost the plot so i'll see you in the next one if i've seen a psychiatrist it's HBO T. Peace out.